It's got a cyber wheel here. And it's not for the Cybertruck. It's actually for a Model Y and 3. Identical, one-to-one, -one, a copy of it. But it's slightly bigger just to be more proportional with the actual Model 3 and Y. So we'll be installing this in a Tesla Model Y performance. All right, so we're gonna be swapping out this OEM wheel. What you wanna do first is use two small screwdriver, flathead, poke in the hole on each side, the right and left side at eight and 4 p.m. So there's a small hole, push in that, and then the airbag should pop up. And don't worry about the airbag exploding. Uh, that should not be functioning when your car is in park. If you wanna be on the safe side, you can disconnect your 12 volt battery. Also, you can put your vehicle in service mode and there's video on how to do that on YouTube and we'll link it in the description. So you want to pull out slowly, there's wires. You want to disconnect the airbag first. There you go. And then there's also burgundy wire. You want to disconnect that wire too. And you can use your fingers or use this flathead screwdriver to pull it out. So we're doing this with raw footage, just to show you a point of view on how to do this without any editing. So your display will show an error, but don't worry about that. Once you plug it in, it will reset itself. So you need a 10 millimeter bracket or socket, um, and you want to remove the 10 millimeter uh, bolt by turning counterclockwise. You want to have somebody hold this and the other person breaking that bolt. It doesn't require too much effort, but just make sure you don't hit the window up here. So that's why you put your fist right there. And if you do hit it, then it'd be okay. So once you get it loose, remove the bracket and the socket, and that's it. So now put the tools in the cup holder and then wiggle it out slowly. Just wiggle it out. There you go. That's how you remove the wheel. Now you do need to swap the interior components. So with the T25, you want to remove, or the four bolts, the T25 bolts that is, uh, two on top and two in the bottom. Then you want to unclip the plastic bracket. This is to hold the airbag in from the back of the steering wheel. And then you can go ahead and take out that T25 bolt. Once you got four removed, you can wiggle out, wiggle it out, the actual scroll wheel and the housing with the airbag component. And you can be swapping the internal components over here. And then from the cyber wheel, you do the same. You wanna pop out the airbag clips from the back to do that for all three. And now loosen the four screws, the T25s. Oh no, that's small. Correction on the cyber wheel is actually a Phillips screw just to hold it in, but you will be using the T25 screw from the OEM wheel to mount it back up here. So you want to remove the harness and the actual case itself. And then you don't need to swap the whole square wheel. This OEM square wheel on the cyber wheel, you just need to swap out this computer module box here. Oh, so I just remove the computer box from the OEM wheel and move it over to the cyber wheel. So grabbing that computer and moving 
attaching to the box that is provided with the cyber wheel. And you need to do this to make sure there's enough space in the new cyber wheel. It's one-to-one -one swap in terms of the fit and finish. Just the profile of the casing is smaller. Go ahead and place the whole harness and assembly back with the computer plug in. And there's no screw that you need to put into, you just put that box underneath. So, and then plug it down there and it just sits on the bottom there and you're good to go. And now this wheel is almost ready to be placed back in the Tesla Model Y. And this also fits in the Model 3. And we'll show you how it looks like after we get these four T25 screws back on. And just line up the 12 o'clock groove. Don't force it in, just line it up and then wiggle it in slowly. There you go, nice. Yep. Plug that one in and put the 10 millimeter socket bolt back on. So you wanna hand tighten this first. And then if you have a torque wrench, go ahead and do about, I would say 40 pounds. Using the wrench at 40 pounds. Um, Tesla is around 40 to 50 pounds, but 40 should be more than sufficient. So you wanna tighten this up until it clicks. You hear that? Once it clicks and you're done. Now just go ahead and put the air back back on. In the yellow wire, and then slowly align the airbag with the three points. Push the bottom end and the top. And you're good to go. The OEM wheels, mm -hmm. just go ahead and uh, store that somewhere else. You got the box. You also have the sleeve that came with the cyber wheel and just cover this up to protect it in case you want to go back to OEM in the future when you sell the car. how the cyber wheel looks like in the Tesla Model Y. So you want this look, it actually drives really well. You improve visibility while still having a full steering wheel. And also the bottom is flat, so it helps with the performance and also rest your hand on long drive, just like this. Not sure if some people drive like this, but I find this the most comfortable. And of course, you can always drive like this from 12 o'clock, like OG, but without covering too much of the actual visibility. So you're interested in this product, check out link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. How does it feel? Very nice. Very nice. It feels amazing. It feels like I'm in the cyber truck. For half the price. <laughs> yeah.